so that we just work and shut up. Pay the IRS and shut up. And if that's the life that you dreamed of, do nothing. You're already on track. You're going to get there. These people have a gravy train of parasitic living, and they don't want it to be changed. So you people buy guns and get into the streets with loaded guns, boom, they'll blow you away. And the people watching will say you deserved it. Because these people with guns will be portrayed not as patriotic Americans who want to set things straight and get back to the Constitution. No, they will be portrayed as bad guys. Anyone who brings the truth is a traitor, not a hero, a traitor. You're not supposed to get the truth. Anyone who brings you the truth is a traitor. Oh, but he revealed classified information. Well, everything today is classified. They're hiding everything they do under the rubric or category of classified, making it sound like these people who released classified information have really committed treason against their country, the America that fought for freedom. We don't have that country anymore. It has changed. Look at the Nazi flag. That's what America is today. It's run by a handful of excessively greedy people. They want to turn everyone in the world into a slave. They want to start this carbon tax because it's the first international tax. And if they could just get that, there would be another one behind it and another one behind that. The totalitarian control of everyone and taxing everyone to death is what they have in mind. They have hundreds of trillions of dollars. It's not enough. They want to keep us poor. And so they siphon off $179 million a day from California alone. California can't afford that. But they are going to protect their rackets, and if you interfere with them, they'll kill you. Without remorse and without even a conscience, they'll kill everyone. In mind control, they can only control about 95% of the population. Their mind control technique does not work on about 5% of the population. And that's why they built the FEMA camps. They're going to put the 5% there and eliminate them. All the buildings Five are percent. airtight. So when they pump in the gas, nobody leaves the alive. Life teachers. to them is all about money, not spiritual development. It's your they favorite laugh black at hippie. anyone who wants to grow spiritually. Yet the aliens tell us that life is about spiritual development, not money. But whether it's about money or spiritual Wake development, up. we are Wake not up. given a chance to develop either. We spend all of our time worrying about money and trying That's to right. survive, and their intention is to make the rich poor. They're going to confiscate all the bank accounts, all the gold, all the silver, and all the 401ks. The have because and have they need not. you to be flat broke. No matter what your profession right. is, no matter how much money you're making, no matter how much money you think you have, they will take all of your property, all of your bank accounts, all of your retirements, all of your gold, silver, anything of value, they and scared. they will reduce you to penury. You're going to use give your you money a chance to develop to fight financially against state or money. spiritually. They take our money Start without your own our thing. approval, and they tell us that's just the way it is. That's like it some is. mafia that owns our neighborhood, they don't want and we no have competition. to pay them protection dues. In case you haven't noticed, the government is a mafia. Government is force, and that's what a mafia is. They take your money by force. We need to reduce their power, and I have a wonderful way to divide their power by 50 right away. 50 states secede from the federal union. In the following day, we put it all back together again without a federal government, without all those agencies, without those federal laws, without those federal taxes, no and most of all, without the Federal Reserve. Without the mafia, without all these bases all over the world, 900 of them, because these we states don't need that thing. many bases. When you break it down by the number of bases per state, it's obvious that it's overkill. If we could get the 50 governors to meet in Las Vegas and bring their grievances with the federal government for discussion, a consciousness would emerge, which is quite different than the consciousness that was created for us to consume. I'm not buying into the fabricated consciousness, and I hope you aren't either. I hope you want to escape after hearing the truth, which has been denied you. Now let me ask you a question. How much money do the people of Michigan pay per day to the Federal Reserve for interest on the national debt? The answer is $48 million a day. Have you seen the condition of Detroit? Houses for $500 total price. If you're looking for a house for a dollar a square foot, 
they're all over the place. These houses cost $120 per square foot to build new. $120 is the cost of construction, and you can buy those houses for a dollar a square foot today. They're not new houses. The comparison is new construction versus these old houses. But being able to buy a house for a dollar a square foot is unbelievable. And if you use Google Earth and you drive up and down the streets of these houses, they have all the pictures on Google Earth. You can drive up and down every street just about. You'll see that some of the lawns are very well kept. I don't think they're dangerous neighborhoods in every case. But when the CIA is selling drugs, where are you safe? A man in Beverly Hills was killed on his doorstep because someone saw he had a Rolex watch, and they killed him for the watch. Now, was he in a safe neighborhood? He's dead. What does that tell you? There is no safe place. A street called Martin Luther King is not safe, and a city called Beverly Hills is not safe because the CIA is selling drugs. You want to stop funding the CIA? You have to secede because the mafia is totally corrupt and in control. And we are providing them with a budget for their agency. It's something like $10 billion a year. I recall during 9-11, someone said, if we're spending $10 billion a year on the CIA and they did not know about this or stop it, well, sure they knew about it. They executed it with Mossad. Of course they knew about it. We pay them $10 billion a year and they kill Americans on American soil? This has to stop. We need to stop funding the CIA and the NSA and all the other A's and the FBI. We need to cancel the IRS and stop taxing people on their income. But Americans first have to know what Joe Bannister knows. He works for the IRS. He asked, where is the law? And no one ever provided it. And people go to court and the judges are corrupt. The judge should first ask, where is the law? If there's no law, throw the case out. But the judges have been bribed. The judges are corrupt, and I say get rid of all the judges. Get rid of all corrupt judges. Look at their records. If they favor the IRS in any case, fire them. Prohibit them from practicing law or being a judge ever again. Let them spend the money they've already received illicitly. Now, Michigan is paying $48 million a day to the Federal Reserve on interest on the national debt. And what does Michigan get for it? Nothing. It's a mafia drain on that state. And if you see homeless people in the state of Michigan, this could be why. Because $48 million a day is going into the bank accounts of parasitic bankers. Why would the federal government allow $48 million a day from just one state to be wasted on parasitic bankers who did not actually lend any money? They created it, causing inflation when they created it. Flooding the market with dollars, chasing too few goods, that makes prices rise. Is it easy to understand why? You double the number of dollars in circulation and prices will double because there are goods and there are dollars. There are services and there are dollars. And when you have too many dollars, everybody raises the price. The prices are paid. So we have inflation when we double the money supply. We have to take this away from the Federal Reserve and stop them from doing this. And Bitcoin does that. And so that's why they are launching such a vicious attack on Bitcoin. But you have to ask yourself why the federal government would waste $48 million a day on parasitic bankers. Doesn't the federal government care anything about the people? Of course not. The federal government is owned by these people who receive $48 million a day. What would you do if you received $48 million a day? Would you bribe everyone in government, everyone in Congress, everyone on the Supreme Court? With that much money, you can make a lot of people happy. And it's being stolen from the state of Michigan, this $48 million, and California's $179 million. Do you realize how much power that gives the Federal Reserve parasites who earn interest on money they didn't earn? didn't lend, just created? That's why the Constitution says you may not allow any private company to gain control of the currency. And that's what happened in 1913. It was totally unconstitutional. It was done in a clandestine manner. And after 100 years, we the people must take action and stop this. Secession is the method. I would rather see $48 million a day going to create jobs in Michigan, build up the housing market again, provide college educations to the young, and provide 
double the Social Security for the elderly because they That's need right. it. They paid into that for 45 years, and they deserve a good retirement. Instead, this Nazi government wants to kill them off, so they got control of the health care program. They took over the whole health industry. Now they own all the doctors and all the morgues and all the medicines. They can kill anyone they want, any time they want, for any reason they want. And there's an executive order whereby Obama granted himself the right to kill any American for any reason at any time. Is that alarming to you? They're not going to allow elderly people to draw their Social Security. They're going to eliminate them. What's wrong with federal government? What's wrong with Congress? Was Congress bribed by a lavish retirement program that they voted we should pay for? We have to pay for our own retirement program, which is in shambles because the Congress raided it. And now we have to reward them by paying for their lavish retirement program. Hundreds of thousands of dollars every month goes to them. What did they do to deserve this? But that's what they did. You're not alarmed by this? How about if we fire Congress and we cancel their retirement program? We tell them they didn't earn it and they broke the country. They don't deserve it. It's not coming. Why does the federal government prefer an uneducated constituency? Because intellectuals are a pain in the ass. They won't allow you to steal from them. They read and they get angry and they squawk. And that's why Stalin killed them by the tens of millions. Imagine how great a country Russia could be today if Stalin didn't kill off all the best people. No dictator wants the citizens to know the truth or to know anything other than what they need to pay the IRS and work that job and pay the national debt interest. So the dictator must intentionally reduce the education. That's why they wanted total control of student loans. That's why they seized control of the media, because they must keep the truth from the people. And our response must be, stop funding the federal government, secede from the union, pick up a microphone and spread the truth. No form of freedom will be allowed. And that's why we must secede. The monkey on our backs is too burdensome. It has to go. Are you with me or against me? Those who are with me say I. Those opposed, the eyes have it. Now let's continue. Here are five countries and states which all have approximately the same size. Virginia, Bulgaria, Burundi, Switzerland, Honduras, Hong Kong, El Salvador, Israel, Washington, and Massachusetts. All have approximately the same population. Some are countries and some are states. But you can see that if our country broke up into separate countries, 50 separate states that work together and cooperate in a United States fashion, but without a federal government, each state is a country. We can get by just as well as the countries I mentioned. The states mentioned can get by as easily as the countries mentioned. And they'll do better if they aren't being drained by a federal reserve by military bases all over the world. If these countries can make it, why can't the states? You have people going around saying, we can't make it without our daddy. Yes, we can. We'll be much, much more prosperous, much, much freer without the federal government. We need to be freed from all the federal taxes, the federal laws, the federal agencies, and the federal restrictions. You might miss the TSA touching and squeezing your ass at the airport, but I'm not going to. I want them gone. And I would say most of the people in this country don't want to be molested when they get on an airplane. Nobody wants to drop their pants for anyone while getting on a plane. We are not the terrorists. The terrorists are in the government, the CIA and Mossad. Those are the terrorists. And if you still believe in Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy, and Al-Qaeda, you're living in a dream world that was constructed for you by your federal government and the Nazis behind them. Secession sheds the federal government and all that is bad. And after this is done, we're free. We're free to reunite as one United States if we want to, without a federal government, without the Federal Reserve, without the IRS, without all the agencies and executive orders. We're free. No more federal gasoline tax. 
A little more funding of all the wars and all the military bases all over the world. A little more bleeding the states dry. I would imagine that immediately the homeless would vanish from the streets. They'd all be employed and productive and building up wealth. Secession is so important, not just to the small people, but to the wealthy as well, because you're not going to be able to keep your wealth. These Nazis will strip everyone of their wealth. Now, there are two possible futures for you lawyers. We're either going to have 50 separate countries in which the American Bar Association is gone and everybody can become a lawyer if he wants to. And that will flood the market with lawyers and it will drop the price to something reasonable like $20 an hour. And if you've been making $300 an hour, just remember this. That's short-lived. You're allowed to do that now because you're helping the Nazis seize total control of the rest of the population. But when they gain enough control, they will no longer be loyal to you. And they will take everything you've got. You took it from the people, and these Nazis will take it from you. And that's the truth. And so you better think this out, and you better realize that there are only two futures. One is, all your wealth is going to be taken from you, and you will be a slave. Or you will live in freedom, but you're not going to have it as good as you have it now. Now, which path is better? You decide. We must return to the Constitution. We have learned a 